Inky friends. Today we are testing out another dip pen nib. Again, we're going to be inking a little illustration and I hope these mini reviews have been useful for you guys. So today we're going to take a look at the Rubinato, a nib designed for very small inking that has a, or rather very small lettering, has a whole lot of flex. So I picked up this Rubinato from Paper and Ink Arts here in Nashville. They have a nib bar, which is always a huge selling point to me. And uh, they are not a sponsor. So any plugs I give, it's because I just genuinely enjoy their store. Now this Rubinato will not fit into my Tachikawa nib holder. So I'm gonna have to grab a spare. Fortunately, I have a few. Let's see what will work. Probably this. Mm, there we go. So this inexpensive speedball holder, the one that kind of comes free with like every speedball kit will work just fine. So we've got some FW Payne's Gray acrylic ink in a small mini cup. You can use a dinky dip if you have them. In fact, I recommend you do. I am just L-A-Z-Y and I don't have an alibi. So we're gonna, with a very light hand, we can get a lot of beautiful little thin lines and some slightly thicker ones. And this nib is ridged to hold more ink for you. So I'm gonna zoom it zoom on in. Move the camera. And get going. And this is not an inking or a drawing nib. This is a writing nib. And you guys saw in some of my recent videos that I don't always have the best of luck inking with writing nibs, but that's okay. We're here to discover new things, to tread new ground. Pretty bad handshakes this morning, so I have to be really careful with that. Unfortunately, it did blob out there, but I think that is ID 10T error and not nib error. It's okay. This is just a little field test piece. Ooh, get some leaking over there. I may be over dipping this too since it has those ridges that helps hold the ink. It's actually a pretty good nib to ink with. Good flex. And I am inking in the Inktober Denik notebook. And I always have to caveat that I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this, but I'm trying to use it up. And it is a smooth cardstock weight paper. And that does not take the ink nearly as well as Strathmore Plate Bristol, but it's cheap and I already paid for it. And so far the Rubinato handles really well. I really like it. Some of the calligraphy nibs I have already reviewed seem to just dump ink on the paper. This one does put down a generous amount of ink, but it doesn't just dump it. And we want to be careful not to tear up the paper. by going over the same area too many times.
inks a bit like a sagey nib with more flex. There we are. So not bad. Uh, given some of my recent experiences with calligraphy nibs, I wasn't, I was kind of nervous about doing the Rubinato because I have liked it in the test that I've done, but I like those nibs as well in the test that I've done. So I am pretty excited that it actually inks fairly well. Good amount of flex, fairly easy to control, not too flexy. So if you're heavier handed and you're looking for a nib that can give you a good amount of line weight, this might be the one for you because I too am heavy handed and I too have a trouble controlling overly flexy nibs. Now you guys can maybe not see, but this nib actually does not have any fins cut into it. So there's no additional flex. It's just a fairly flexy nib on its own. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nib review. I hope you found it helpful and maybe I even turned you on to a nib you never would have tried. If you're looking to pick up just one Rubinato to see if it is a nib for your collection, I recommend going on to paperandinkarts.com or if you're in the Nashville area, heading over to their physical brick and mortar paper and ink store. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you'll check out my other nib videos. Bye guys.